Hello everyone! In this Java programming tutorial, you will learn how to calculate the numbers of days from one day until the next. For this Java coding example, we will use the Java utility classes of date and calendar. To format the date into a readable string format, we will use the Java text class of simple date format. The first thing we will do is import the classes that we need. Next, within your main method, create a new date object called today. This date object represents the current time and date, so yours will be different from mine. Date today, the equal sign, and then new date. I wanted to mention that this is a no argument constructor, which means that it constructs an instance of the date class without requiring any arguments. Next, we will type calendar, my next calendar, the equal sign, calendar.getInstance. GetInstance returns a calendar with the current date and time. On the subsequent line type mynextcalendar.set and within the parentheses 2020 comma 0 comma 1. 0 is for January. Here we are changing the date from today to January 1st 2020. Now we will type date nyd equals my next calendar dot get time. The get time method of calendar returns a date object representing the calendar's time. So here we are taking the date time from my next calendar and converting it into a date object. If you look at the date class documentation, it shows you that the set date for the date class is deprecated and has been replaced by calendar dot set, which is why we did it this way. Now within our hello world class, let's type a new method to calculate the number of days between two date objects. Public long days between day one comma day two within the parentheses. Here we are creating a method which takes two date objects as parameters. Within the body of the method type long difference and the equal sign within parentheses one dot get time minus two dot get time divided by eighty six million four hundred thousand and this is the number of milliseconds in a day. The get time method of the date object returns the number of milliseconds since January 1st 1970. Here we are calculating the difference in milliseconds between two days. Then converting the milliseconds back into days by dividing them by the number of milliseconds in one day. On the next line type return math.abs and within parentheses difference. Since the difference is a negative value, we are using a math function abs to get the absolute value. An absolute value of a negative number is a positive version of the number. For example, the absolute value of negative one is one. Now back in our main method type hello world my object the equal sign new hello world. Here we are creating an object of our hello world class to invoke the method that we just typed. Next type long days the equal sign my object dot days between and as the argument today comma nyd. Here we are getting the result from our days between method and storing it in days. We will print this number out soon. Next type simple date format SDF the equal sign new simple date format and within parentheses MMMM DD comma YYYY. Here we are setting the format that we will be using to format our date objects. MMMM represents the full text value of the month. DD represents the numerical day. A comma and then YYYY for the year. In a previous tutorial on date object, we learned other formatting patterns that you can use. Next type string today's date and the equal sign sdf dot format within parentheses today. Here we are formatting our today date object to the pattern that we just specified. You can copy and paste that line and change today to nyd and change the today's date variable to New Year's Day. So I should say string New Year's Day, the equal sign SDF dot format and within the parentheses NYD. And a final line of code system.out.println. 
with in parentheses days plus the string space days from today's date of space plus today's date plus the string space until space plus New Year's Day. Here we are concatenating a string from four strings and days which is along. Now let's run our program. My result is 796 days from today's date of October 27th, 2017 until January 1st, 2020. Please share your result in the comments if you like. If you are viewing this tutorial past January 1st, 2020, then use the date for the upcoming new year instead within the set function of my next calendar. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl.